what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy i'm here today with another episode of vikings today we're going to be watching episode 14 um as to what's going on in vikings man we just got to see it see what develop and, and where they're going to end up at the end of the series um now we're what four episodes in uh we got six more to go after this and I can't tell you where this is going to end up. I, I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I am enjoying what they're doing. We, we um, Igor, um, Prince Igor, he just um, escaped with Ivar and Vitzerk. Um, they, they got away. I'm not sure if they're out of the woods yet, but they definitely got out. It seems like they got out. And um, until I see them with um, Prince Deer, I'll be happy about that. Um, and I feel like he'll be safe there. Even though this is not really a situation where you can say, okay, they're safe. You know what I'm saying? You can't really use that word. Because Ivar is just as manipulating as, you know what I'm saying, as um, Oleg. He's just as manipulating. Don't, I'm not getting no, no softy feelings for Ivar because he got Igor out. You know what I'm saying? Uh... At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to he's going to be the same thing to Igor that 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 um that Oleg is. It's just that we're rooting for them to get out of that situation because of how, how Oleg really does treat Igor like he you know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't treat him like he the somebody who's supposed to inherit the throne or he's not teaching him in the right way. We can agree with that, but I think why Ivar wants to do this is because he wants to be king of Norway, right? He wants to be king of Norway. He wants to be king, and he feels like um, if he can get Igor on his side, you know, Igor can give him the army that he needs to go take what he needs, right? So, of course, King Harold is back, the cockroach of Vikings that never goes away. You know what I'm saying? Every time this guy is supposed to die, they save his character. I don't know why this guy has such thick plot armor in this in, in this show, but man, this guy's he, his plot armor is thicker than any main character that we have in the series. And he's just there. He's he's the um he, he he's the little finger of this series, which is like, please, somebody just kill this dude. <laughs> nobody will you know what i'm saying it's like every time he's been captured and jailed and imprisoned and starved and i mean there's so many bad things that happen to this character and you just and and you just don't like to see him because he never learns you see if he was a character that actually learns and come out a better person you could actually root for him but he's he comes out every time out of every situation that he's been into close that situation he's come out a worse person he does not learn from anything he's a jealous dude just jealous of of ragnar's son he wants what they have now he's saying oh i don't want it anymore then why the hell are you in katagat my friend why are you in katagat if you don't want what bjorn had and want why are you there <laughs> please explain to me why are you there but anyways guys Let's go watch this episode, man. And I will see you guys for the review. I cannot believe Shetel, man. I can't believe that he's really pulling that at a time like this. You know what I'm saying? Guy that talks about, oh, it, it's togetherness and, and whatever... Yeah, I mean, it, it, he just, he, he is just a problem. It's like he exists to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? It's like nothing is ever like just the way it's supposed to be with this guy. It's always something. Yeah, I mean, the whale just happens to wash up on his land and by dumb luck, to be honest. And 
he's claiming it but he can't do anything about it because it's like same thing uber saying it's it's like dude come on i thought we're all in this together it's just like dude this first of all you can't eat all that by yourself that is months of food right there like months of food you don't have no way of preserving this fish so first of all if you're gonna keep it all to yourself you're not gonna get to enjoy all of it that's for sure unless you plan to eat spoiled fish which fish goes bad really quick if it's not fr frozen it goes bad in a heartbeat <laughs> you know what i'm saying so if you don't share what's your point in eat you know what i'm saying nobody has anything to uh, unless you go uh, unless you go and say okay give me a piece of your property i'll give you some fish <laughs> you know what i'm saying like unless that is the case that is not the golden line. First of all, I don't even know why they're trying to go to a desert. Anyways. But, you know, we know we have countries that live in the desert. You know, that, like, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you want to talk about a desert, you know, Las Vegas is literally right smack in the middle of a freaking desert. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always hot. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty, pretty, pretty bad out there. But... A lot of that stuff has been taken. But let's talk about the main events of the show. King Harold being crowned king. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what Gunhill is planning. Hopefully, hopefully it is that she's making some plans to kill this dude. I'll be happy to see that for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, we got Ingrid. What is she planning? She's a witch. Who knows what she's planning? But she, she made some valid points in this episode. You know what I'm saying? She made some valid points about her status. It's like, not like you already have status. I don't have anything. You know what I'm saying? Not a shield maiden. Not anything like that. So I have to use my my cunningness or my wits and her sex. You know what I'm saying? To But why would you marry the man that raped you? You know what I'm saying? Like, people always act like they don't have a choice when they, they do. You know what I'm saying? It's not like any... He's not going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? The only problem is that you're, you're literally, quite possibly, carrying his child. That you're saying that it's Bjorn's kid, but I do believe it's King Harold's kid, for sure. Um, but we also have a situation, which is the most interesting situation, is um, the, the, the Prince Oleg versus Prince Dare. Um, his name is <laughs> Igor, <laughs> right? I don't even know why they're praising King Igor in Kiev. I don't even know why they're raising a cup to this. Like, oh, I've seen it. It's like your prophecies are so convenient for for you. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? His prophecy is talking about, oh, you're gonna see Prince there shot by an arrow by freaking Igor. Like okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying like if it happens it happens you know um he's gonna set it up that way to make himself look good of course we know this um i don't know how it's gonna go down but i'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it's going to go down um so interesting conversation between igor and ivar him telling him how he uh, you know igor is telling him hey you know what i'm saying thanks for saving me blah 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 all this other stuff you always been my friend and all of this but as i said about ivar it's going to take more than him just saving this kid for me to be like okay ivar is now on the good side of things ivar has always been this a, a certain type of person it's going to be hard for me as a viewer watching this show to be like, okay, he's a... Ivar is not on some redemption art kind of stuff right now. It's, he's not. He might be one of your favorite characters or one of my favorite characters in the show. But at the same time, we know his nature. That has never changed. Ivar has never changed. We know he loves his brothers. But he's not afraid to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Even if you are his brother. We know this about him. We know he he, he loves Vitzer. You know what I'm saying? Um, we know this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so 
him bringing the real and telling him what actually is intention behind all of this because i really do feel like him now you know what i'm saying treating igor like his son if you want to call it that you know what i'm saying it's going to really put him on a certain platform for him to really come back and attack again you know what i'm saying and i think that's going to happen i think they're going to probably get the victory over oleg i i, I think oleg is going to go out during this battle i think i think he's probably going to get killed during this battle i think um they're going to win this battle right that's just my opinion i think maybe prince there will die too and that would make igor king you know what i'm saying because he's supposed to be the one that is supposed to be king he's supposed to inherit the throne um but he needs to be groomed right so it looks like he has a great relationship with prince Deer. Um, but you know, Oleg did take him from what we've learned earlier in, you know, in season six that, um, Oleg did take him, take Igor from Deer, you know, at some point, right. And just now oppressing him and, you know, he wants that control. It's like, whoever is controlling, you know, whoever is controlling, um, Igor is the one that can control the throne and what they do and this and that and whatever you know what i'm saying um another line that stood out for me was when ivar told um whatever her name is or whoever she is as he describes it he's like i love you whoever you are and i totally understand where that comes from you know what i'm saying somebody was also in the comment section of my last video um explaining to me that you know the condition and i never really thought of it that way i just thought that you know what i'm saying i just thought that he just couldn't perform because you could look at it as uh, um at all i thought that i know that you know people who are probably what whatever people who are crippled if you want to call it that people who are like that they can still have sex but it's like you know what I'm saying but it, it, it's you know sometimes when people are even paralyzed from the waist down you know what I'm saying um, I guess when you're born born and, and you you know you can't use your legs or whatever I guess it's different from when you know you might have gotten into an accident and you're paralyzed from the waist down because your spinal cord got damaged or whatever I guess it's different um, from what I understand from what the person was explaining to me is that, you know, these people could still get erections, whatever, you know, um, they could still get aroused. So but for me, I, that's knowledge that I didn't know. So I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I knew I didn't know that. So <laughs> I've always thought that he would never be able to. But, you know, what I'm saying that's why I was during the exercise. I was like, how? How is this happening? But hey, if he could get it, get it. You know, what I'm saying it's all about being in the moment, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So, I prefer him. He got some. That's good. That's good for him. Um, just don't simp over it, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. Keep liking the videos. Keep watching the videos, man. I'm going to keep trying to get these these um, this season done. And then we can be um, done with Vikings. And I will be doing uh, a review video of the entire series. You know going season by season and just letting you guys know what my overall rating of the show is um it seems like they're gonna close out really strong and not as bad as game of thrones did so i'm looking forward to that anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always it's your boy terabyte reacts like the video comment i'm out peace